Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today I wanted to go over settings in AimLab. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on, um, on my previous uh, video AimLab uh, demo and Fortnite um, and so I wanted to go over that. This is just the main AimLab screen so if you come down here to the bottom right, here's my mouse, come down here to the bottom right and click on your settings tab. That'll pull up your settings options here and you can go down to controls. And you can use settings from Fortnite, which is uh, allows you to select the game you'd like to use the corresponding settings from. Simply choose your game from the list and it will import the default settings from that game. If you use custom settings in that game, you can then enter them below. Although this list is constantly updated, if you don't see the game listed you'd like to convert, please check out and support. So, if you go and use your settings from Fortnite, you can go ahead and click that, and we'll default to the default settings from Fortnite. Not your personal settings, your default ones from Fortnite. But what this does is, is it allows you to set uh, a different... Um, profile for each of your different games. So if you're practicing in, say, Paladins, which is another epic uh, epic game, or if you're working on Rainbow Six Siege, or if you're working on uh, Fortnite, or Rust even, um, you can set your settings to each of these Minecraft uh, so that you can actually use your corresponding settings. So if you click on Fortnite, you can set this to the sensitivity scale depending on the game version or whether it is an in-game value or a config value. So you can set this post 11.3 update which I'm assuming most of you are playing on. Um, and the input sort is the raw input or windows. Windows will apply the mouse pointer sensitivity multiplier. So if you just use the raw input that's just the raw input from your mouse right as it's coming from the mouse controller and it doesn't do any of the sensitivity changes from windows. So it's just going to do your raw input. Now, you can come down and you can set field of view like you would do in, in uh, Fortnite. Um, you can then also set your mouse X sensitivity and mouse Y sensitivity. By default, Minecraft sets these, uh, sorry, Fortnite, not Minecraft, Fortnite, uh, sets these to 28. Now, if you have a different setting in Fortnite, you will have to copy those settings over. Um, or uh, physically adjust the slider here. You can actually do that by typing in here. So if, say if I wanted to do uh, 30, I can do that and it will change this to correspond. Um, I'm just going to set these back to your Fortnite defaults. Um, so you will have to go ahead and do that um, to actually use your Fortnite settings. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Fortnite now and I'm going to copy my settings there and uh, we'll take a look and see what those are and, and make them correspond here. Okay, so here we are in Fortnite. As you can see, my x-axis sensitivity is 28.1 and my y-axis sensitivity is 28, so I'm just using the default ones. Um, it's uh, really not changed a whole lot here and I'm not sure if I can really... There's no way that I know of at least to manually uh, just like click and type. I suppose we can just reset tab options. There we go to 28. Um, but if you wanted to change these, like if you've got these at separate settings, you can you know make sure that these match um, your targeting, scope sensitivity, all that kind of stuff. You can make sure that those match over in um, over in Aim Lab. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. I really haven't changed anything uh, in here. Um, and we'll just go ahead and jump back now to uh, Aim Lab, and we'll uh, we'll do a, a little bit of demo right there. Okay, so we are back in Aim Lab now, um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go over this a little bit more. Um, we'll just do a training one, and so this is going to actually save the data. So I'm going to do uh, let's see here, Sphere Track 360 enemy tracking with added vertical dimension. So I'm going to hit play now, and this is just going to do suggested training, um, and I'm just going to do, uh, let's switch, we'll use uh, V2 
facility, countryside, sphere box. Ooh, haven't seen that one before. Let's just do facility. Um, and I'm going to use, uh, let's see here, let's use a scar. Well, no, let's, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure there's like an AK or something that we can use here. AK-15, there we go. Um, that's kind of, or AR-15, sorry. That's kind of close to the, uh, to the assault rifles um, from Fortnite. So I'm just going to use this. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play this here. Okay, and this is the Sphere track. I don't know that I've actually played this one before. Um, but this is, uh, this is essentially just a tracking exercise. Um, my goodness. As you can tell, my tracking skills leave something to be desired. So this will turn blue when you're actually tracking it. really moving around at all as far as your position goes. You are literally fixed in spot on the floor. So you don't have to worry about the, whoop, the physical side of it. Um, and then this will basically go over your scores from that. Um, so that's uh, kind of my accuracy, average on time in milliseconds. So that's actually not bad for me. Um, average time on. Oh, no, actually, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, and it looks like I'm very inefficient with my so shot selection, leading to decreased accuracy to improve try playing more pentakill. So I'm just going to go back to the, uh, to the main menu, and we'll try pentakill. So training. And see if it's on here. Play now. No, it is not. So let's try this. Tracking. Ninja shot. Free track rocket shot. Ah uh, ha ha ha. Strafe bot. Flicking. Microflex speed. Precision. No. Cognition. Perception. Sandbox AI, Sandbox Miscellaneous, Pentakill, there you go. So five targets move across the screen from different locations. You lose points based on how many you miss. So let's go ahead and play that. We'll just do it in facility. Uh, I'm going to use the AR-15 again. There we go. And we'll go ahead and play the, play the game here. So each of these uh, last one minute. So it allows you to get in quite a few of the training sessions. There you go. Oof, didn't really do very good there, 56%. 62%. It's so really only hitting about three of them. That's four, very nice. And I think part of it is just knowing kind of which ones to target first. And this one. <laughs> So accuracy is about 69%, 33% for my score, 6% kill totals, 11% kill streak. So my accuracy is very, very high 
as far as these go, but I'm really not very fast. So I'm going to go back to the main screen here and we're going to go for something on speed. Um, so let's see here, we're going for, let's see here, motion shot, strafing, I'm go for tasks here and I'm going to go for speed. Um, motion shot, all directions shoot the center orb to spawn another in random location. So I'm going to go with that. Well, strafe chat, no, I'm going to go for the motion shot. We'll just do that one. And uh, we'll practice this. And then I think I will uh, just use that to wrap up. And uh, I'm probably not going to do so well here. My speed is uh, not very good. There we go. So again, accuracy is very high. Number of shots divided by shots fired. Um, kills, reaction time, targets. And really, uh, yeah, not very fast. Reaction time this run was well below average. Try playing more speed mode tasks. So this will tell you uh, what you're trying to improve on. And it looks like I'm overshooting. You miss tend to overshoot. This means you're moving further than necessary by try lowering your sensitivity. So, we'll go uh, look at my insights here. Slow hand, I'm really, really going uh, overshooting a little bit here. So, some various different leaderboards and some advanced, uh, advanced things. So, 719 milliseconds, really, really bad. Um, that's almost three quarters of a second it takes for me to actually acquire a target um, as soon as it uh, actually spawns. So really really quite atrocious. Um, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go ahead and tweak my settings a little bit here and go to controls. I'm going to change my mouse X sensitivity. That seems to be the one that I really overshoot a lot. And I'm going to take this down to say 25. And we'll do the same with the mouse Y sensitivity and we'll try that. Just going to go back and we'll do the uh, we'll do the speed. Uh, what was this strafe track? No. Motion shot. Yes, motion shot. And let's try this again, and we'll see how the the sensitivity change actually makes this easier or harder to do. choking there a little bit. 72%, 26, 38, 43, 35, 36. Go into my insights here. Slow hand, but I'm not overshooting so much anymore. So reaction time is poor, 
but it looks like I've fixed the hypermetria there and this is kind of uh, doing a little bit of a comparison here accuracy is down slightly but my reaction time is also down slightly which means I've actually sped up just a little bit there so that's uh, kind of a way that you can do your tweaking how things work here and uh, get a little bit of practice get better uh, without the uh, everybody shooting at you <laughs> so uh, that's kind of been a bit of a demo here on some uh, some aim lab stuff and how to get your settings to match Fortnite you will have to actually jump into Fortnite but you can then save that to a Fortnite profile um, and the same goes for really anything else you might play Overwatch, Paladins, PUBG um, really any of those uh, that come up here Destiny 2 Modern Warfare, all those, they are all, you can all save those to the separate tabs so that you are actually playing and your settings will automatically switch to those once you've got each of those tabs or those profiles saved. So, alright, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Ta-ta.